Welcome to On Gaming and Nerdery as I return to Gekokujo. You may be wondering why I'm returning to a mod which I got kind of bored with last time I played this. And part of the reason is that it updated to the to a 3.0 version. They had a big version update, big change log and everything. Apparently all sorts of new little details have been added in addition to some bigger things as well. So I really want to look into it and I want to look into it with all of you, my viewers, who barely watch Mountain Blade Warband. Why do you not watch Mountain Blade Warband? You should be ashamed. At any rate. So, to that end, we are going to start a new game of Gekokujo. Alright, that was a long time loading. But that happens frequently in Mountain Blade Warband. When, uh, when mods add a lot, it takes a lot longer to, um, for, the initial, for the initial loading for the game. Um, I know that Britain Walda, for example, can take up to three minutes or so before it finishes loading uh, to an initial startup. Usually it's shorter, but it can take up to that long depending on the strength of your computer. Anyway, I have already read this page, so I'm not going to bother. Um, so we're going to continue. Select your character's gender. Female, of course. Uh, do we mind countering sexism? I do not mind. You were born years ago in the land of the rising sun. I was? Oh yeah, I was. Your father was a powerless Kuge noble, a G samurai, a traveling merchant, an Ashigaru, a hunter, a thief. Uh, I'm pretty sure my father was actually a farmer. He he wasn't all that interesting, actually. The, he just toiled all day and all night. And, well, all day, mostly. Okay, I guess he kind of did at night. That's how I had so many siblings. Anyway! Let's see. My father... Was was a uh, um, I guess I, I guess he was a, I guess he was a, he was a Nashigaru, I, I guess. As a child, your family scrabbled out a meager living from your father's stipend as a retainer to the local lord. I still think he was a farmer, though. It was not an easy existence, and you were too poor to get much of an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself in the streets without a without with or without a weapon in hand. I'm pretty sure I learned farming from my father. Not even that. I'm pretty sure I just. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure he was just waiting to marry marry me off to the to, to a local boy. But you started to learn about the world almost as soon as you co could walk and talk. You spent your early life as a noble woman's attendant, a craftsman's apprentice, a shop assistant, a street urchin, a mountain child. Nah, I'm pretty sure I worked on the farm. I am pretty sure I walked I worked on the farm. I walked on the farm. Yes, I walked on the farm. But uh, I, I guess we're just uh, I guess we're just making up a story for uh, for this character. So uh, uh, I was a uh, I was a noble woman's attendant. Why not? We already know what this one says. I'm pretty sure. Um, yes. Yeah, so then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became a court lady in Kyoto, a traveling musician, a miko at a Shinto shrine, a traveling goods peddler, a smith in a, in a castle town, a game poacher in the ma in the mountains. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Once, but, well, first of all, I should point out, I think Amiko at a Shinto Shrine actually is a new, um, is actually a new background added to the mod. Just a, uh, just a bit of, uh, fun fact there. Because I know he added, because I know he added, they, they, I think, added something to the, um, to the backgrounds for male and female characters. Just can't remember what it is precisely. But I'm pretty sure that I became a prostitute. But, if, again, if we're just, just making up things about my life, uh, we'll say I was Amiko at a Shinto Shrine. Um, you found yourself as a Miko out of, of a shrine in a far-flung provincial village, where you where you helped the upkeep and perform sacred dances and rituals. But not all your tasks revolve around the gods. In this age of upheaval, everyone to learn how to fight and survive. But soon everything changed, and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was personal revenge, the loss of a loved one, wanderlust, being forced out of your home, lust for money and power. I'm pretty sure lust had something to do with it, but it was mostly escaping it. Just throwing it up there. But again, since, you know, we're kind of just making stuff up, uh, we're just gonna go, uh, Wanderlust. So, um... You're not even sure where your home became- when your home became a prison, but the... When I started whoring myself out, pretty sure. But when the familiar became undane, you- but your dream- uh, when the familiar became undane, but your dreams wa of wandering have taken over your life. Whether you yearn- wait, whether you yearn for some faraway place or merely for the open road and the freedom to travel, you could no longer bear to stay in the same place. You simply went and never looked back. Become an adventurer. And ride to your destiny. Allow me to quit without saving you. Because I just, uh... I don't care. 
And yes, Lysha finally has a last name. Since I, ever since I started Final Fantasy XIV, she's had a last name. And I probably just revealed too much about Final Fantasy XIV. Anyway! Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Uh, my skills are in archery, pole arms, one-handed weapons. Okay, so let's give ourselves some strength. A bit of intelligence. That should give us more intelligence than that. Um, Alright, leadership. Let's give ourselves a little of that. Uh, weapon master. A uh, little riding skill, but I'm not going to bother with that. Um, Alright, we'll go foraging, because that will help keep feed my party without having to buy food constantly. And I guess a little iron flesh. Uh, it looks like going to be an archer. kind of wanted to be a, uh, a gunner, but... Um, Odds are that having I, I like I dislike having power draw go to ra go to waste go to waste. All right, let's see. Um, apparently, added some new face textures to the um. Oh, that's vanilla. Some new face textures and some new and some new hairs. Uh, yeah, I think there's a couple of. I think I see some face textures here. Okay, and new hair. Oh yeah, definitely new hair. Oh oh nice nice. Okay that that okay those are old. This is vanilla. Okay this. What is vanilla star? There it is. There's vanilla. Okay, this is this is all old, but this is this is definitely new. This is this one's definitely new. Um, that's new, kind of cool too. That's new. That's new. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure all these are new. Oh, that's that, that's kind of cool. It's a better version of basically the. Uh... Let's get something logical for the character though, because I'm fighting. I always like bangs too. Um. Oh, not bad. Actually, it actually ages decently. You know, there's some mods that don't—they don't give enough. They don't put enough effort into uh, into altering how the age is gonna, you know, be affected, or how the age affects the uh, fa the facial expression. At worst, it will have a. Uh... It stopped losing it. Okay. Okay. Let's make the face a little wide, because otherwise it'll look kind of weird. I think. Ratio. Um, mm, I guess that works. Uh, let's see. Face depth. Push the face out a bit to compensate for the fact that it's kind of wide and weird looking. Temple width. Uh, oh yes, yeah, so that affects the wide, the width of the uh, upper head. So we're gonna shrink that a little to. Okay, eyebrow shape. Um, let's see. You can go either. Kind of looks constantly afraid. Or full Vulcan. Uh, I think we're gonna go between, in between, uh, in between the middle and full Vulcan. Okay. Eyebrow depth. Uh, I don't care about that. Eyebrow height. Uh, that's gonna look perpetually surprised. That's gonna look perpetually angry. So we'll just go for slightly towards perpetual angry. Eyebrow position. Uh, oh, oh, that also height. That also affects it. Ah, I see. It affects the uh, affects the brow ridge. Okay. Um, I don't, I, I rarely, um, uh, I rarely, like, like, to, like, uh, like, work specifically on the, um, I think I'm, I think I'm already creating a freak here. Okay, eyelids. Oh! Oh! Cool, I'm pretty sure eyelids is, is, uh, added to the mod. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna make, uh, the, quote, squint your eyes. I know, I know that's not how it works, but, you know, just, just for the ease of description, I'm, that's what I'm saying about it. I depth. I shape. Okay, it's greater slant. Um, eye to eye dis. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you okay there, ma'am? Okay, we'll spread them out a little more though. I with. Let's shrink them a little. They were a little large and it's creeping me out. Cheekbones. Can't really see it, but they are being adjusted. Nose bridge. Okay. Nose size. Um. Okay, that's fine. Nose shape. Okay, that's fine. Nose width. Okay, nose height. <laughs> okay, that that looks better. Okay, there we go. We're almost done here, folks. Don't worry. I'm I'm just doing something I usually don't do in like you know like like you know like messing with the character creation features. Mouth width. Mouth nose distance. Uh, let's get it a little close. Let's get it close because I don't know it looks more normal that way. I think. Alright, jaw position. Why it widens the back of the jaw and so forth. Um, we're actually gonna keep it small though. Jaw width. Widen that chin, chin, chin. Uh, yeah, actually, let's make the chin a little longer. And this shall be Lysha Kainun. We are done.
You hear about Japan, a land torn between rival daimyo battling each other for supremacy, a haven for samurai and ronin, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Japan and its provinces, you join a caravan to Su in Issei province. Join a caravan to Hirosaki in the far north. Join a caravan to Niigata in, I in Ichigo province. Take a ship to Edo in the Kanto region. Take a ship to Sakai in the Kinai region. Kanto? I know Kanto's an actual... It's going to make a Pokemon joke, but I know Kanto's an actual region in Japan. Which the Kanto region in Pokemon was actually based off of, from what I understand. Take a ship to Hakata in Kyushu. Tough choices. I know one of the choices also here but have also been changed. Um, but let's see. We're going to... We're gonna go to, uh, I think we're gonna go to Hirosaki in the far north. You arrived at Hirosaki in the northernmost district of Mutsu province, nay, of the entirety of Japan. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Hirosaki and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and yada yada yada, we already read that one. In like four of Oh, I got a spear. And I got a tanto. But I better use a spear because the Yari, I think it is? I think it's a Yari spear. I, okay, I seriously poked you in this part. Okay. Oh, you're dead. Because you're a fool. Oh! Ah. Oh! Oh, hello. Densuke, merchant of Oshu. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. Yada yada. We've already read all this before. Oh, you know what? Who cares? I'm not sure that we could say the same for the Ronin. That's one less murderous maniac to trouble our streets, although the gods know he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally convinces you not to follow. He comes near you to speak. Okay. Uh, from what I understand, the opening quest has been changed, so let's see what it's like. Oh, now, let me explain my proposition. I have tried to live my life while ignoring the samurai, even in these turbulent times. I figured that if I kept my head down, none of their plots or wars would affect me. I was wrong. They... They killed my brother. Minemaru, he is a hothead for sure. Maybe he showed disrespect to a haughty lordling. I don't know what actually happened, but it doesn't matter to me whether he brought it upon himself or not. Nobody should be so exalted they could kill a brother, a son, or a father just because they weren't groveled to as they wished. This is no way for the rest of us to live. My old, my other brother, Hardenbo, tried to investigate the murder, but he's disappeared since. I originally feared the worst, but I've just come across a rumor that he's still alive. That says he's still alive, as a captive. So here's what I ask of you. Gather a small party, track down who's taking him, teach them a lesson. They won't forget, and get Hora and Bo safe, home safe. In return, you'll earn my eternal gratitude and a large sum of money. What do you say? I am interested. You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try and take on our samurai and his low retainer single-handedly, you will surely lose your head. You must round up a group of volunteers and form a band. There's always a few boys in the villages around here, looking for work that, that's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay, so take this person 100 mon. Consider an advance on your reward. Go round to the villages that use the money to hire some help. I'll reckon that you'll need at least five men to take on these scoundrels. Very good, sir. I'll co collect some men from around the villages. Good. You can find me again in the inn here in Hirosaki after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what to do next. About what we do next. Okay, so I see. I think I think it's basically the same quest, but um, it's been altered so that uh, you know. But it's been altered so that uh. Oh, cool. There's these villages up here. And I and from understand he's also made the um. Oop, my frame rate's dipping a bit. It's about thirty or so. Okay, there we go. I understand he's also filled out the map a little more. There's uh. There's more trees and so forth, and apparently some rivers have been repathed and so forth. So, generally, the map is going to be less empty than it was the last time than, than it was the last time I played this. Um, it definitely looks like there's a little few more trees because there's because there's definitely broad expanses that were almost completely treeless, and it was weird. Oh yeah, there's more trees here. Look at this. There's trees all over this coast, and there weren't before. So, okay, so. Uh, here was here. There we are, Hirosaki. Okay, so it looks like he's. Uh, looks like the. Um, looks like the creators are like um, added a different narrative element to the. Um, to the. Um, uh, what you call it? The uh, the opening quest. 
that's that's uh, you know. So if anything, it has more. It's more um, dramatic. What's the word? Hanmaru the slaver. So that's more dramatic. What's the word? Uh, dramatic flair, I guess. Flair isn't really the right word, but that's what I mean. You know, I think you understand what I mean. I think. Oh look, it's uh, William. Ohio goes gozaimasu. Hello. Run along now, Nanban. I have work to do. God, I love this country. I was originally from England, but I came here on a Dutch ship. It ran aground after being lost in the, in the Pacific. The Pacific. There were only nine of us alive when we got here, and it was just our luck that we picked, got picked up by Spanish priests instead of Japanese. They told the local daimyo we were pirates, and we, tossed, and we were tossed in prison. Luckily, the kind lord came to his senses, expelled the Catholics, and set me free. I went into his service as a technical advisor, helping him build a modern galleon. Unfortunately, before he could gain mastery of the sea, he was defeated on land and committed seppuku. The daimyo that defeated him had no use for a man such as myself, and I wandered in Japan ever since. He definitely has a new face texture. It's quite a fascinating country, but it's too bad nobody needs me. Nobody cares about sea power, and everyone's already, already quite the expert on gun and can guns and cannon. Well, as it happens, I run a company of mercenaries, or go back to your country. Do you? Well, I'm in a position to be picky. I would be pleased to join you. I think you would find I would be most valuable addition to your ranks. I am well versed in naval architecture, maritime commerce, and cannons. <sighs> That's a start. We can teach you the rest. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare, and I'll be ready to move. Good. I have a companion already. Let's go, William! Yeah! Okay, we're good. Okay, let's, let's stop being stupid now. Join the tournament. I'm not going to place any bets on myself, because that's probably going to... Because I'm like... Because I'm... No. No. Because I'm going to lose, probably. Oh, cool! Cool, I know they changed this, but this is cool. Rather than being... You know, rather than being... Oh! Goro Bay. Hello. Oh, I know what he did. Uh, uh, that's right, he renamed the tournament fighters. He renamed the tournament fighters, too. Kaihime, Goro Bay, Kambe... Shichiroji, Nayotora, Sen. Yeah, he named he named them after like famous uh, against after famous samurai, um, you know, and other you know other Japanese warriors. So, oh wow, this is really slow in my hands. Oh, that's why I have, that's like, that's why I really go to end a weapon skill. That's right. Okay. Oh shit! I have a bow. This is a bow. Ah, oh, shoot. I wish I'd realized that was a bow. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I can recruit volunteers in the village, in, in the cities, in this one. I forgot. All right, let's go to Utol. Or however you pronounce that. Utol? I don't know. I don't know! Uh, volunteers. Uh, two villagers in Sugaru volunteer to follow you. Okay. I guess the Sugaru is... What? What's Sugaru? Um... Okay. Hirakawa! Let's go there. Oh, by the way, if you notice, I have a new... Can't really see it all that well, but... If you lean in really close, you can see I have a new Overland uh, map... Um... Icon. Which is... Uh, which is specifically even made for female characters. That's a nice little touch. Uh, what do you mean no one wants to join my party? I mean, it's not like I'm poor or anything. I mean, I'm totally poor, but... I like to pretend I'm not. It's, you know... Well, we have to keep fighting, because we need because we need at least one more person in, in this... Uh, two more people in this party, so... Let's head out all the way to... Hachinohe. You know, I wonder where I'm origin... You know, I wonder where I'm actually originally from, and, you know, according to the backstory. You know, it says... You know, it says there's supposed to be deserters here, but I don't see them, so... You guys are running from nothing. You're dumb. Hello, Lord Hachinobe. Not, uh, not Jihoe. Hachinobe. No, Hachinobe. No, whatever. We're just gonna go to the villa. Uh, looters. Oh, they're looters. Looters! Looters! Surrender or die! As your wish, prepare to die. <laughs> okay. Let's, oh, yeah, that's right. I have a Tonto and a Yari or something. What, what do I have? Well, ah, oh, wait, wait, guys, I forgot these. There's no, like, auto positioning. Oh, right, I have to actually choose the baggage acts my inventory, right. Uh, crack bamboo yari, yes, that was right. Okay. Alright, villager. Um, other villager. William. This is Japan! And. They're, 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 I, 
I know I had a dramatic speech prepared for this somewhere, but I can't... Ooh, that was a very nice shot. Or sound, I mean. That's another thing they've added. That's another thing that's been changed in the mod. The sounds of the gunshots. And they've also added a muzzle smoke. Nice shot, William! My god, you Brits are actually worth something! Oh, that, that menu is st still there. Whoops. Nice shot, William! Oh, nice. There's a, there's even a puff of smoke when the hits target, too. All right, charge! <laughs> William, keep providing fire support! Damn it, villager. Ah! All right, all right, so, so, uh, all right, extra savings, the ship kunai, all right, all right. How's a kunai stack it next to the tonto? It's shorter, it's fat, just as fast, though, and does more damage. Ooh, ragged sukegasa. I like sukegasa, they're nice, they're nice, uh, they're nice hats, so I'm gonna wear that. Ragged men's clothes. Okay, we're not gonna take much, we're gonna, just gonna take those. We're gonna leave these, though, because they're not really worth much of anything. They're gonna be worth one, anyway. Okay. Um, leave items in the pool and continue. Okay, villager. Oh, nice. We already have a our first upgrade. So let's get a Nanbu spearman. And inventory. Let's let's equip the kunai. Let's see how that works. Probably not too well. I, I'm terrible with short weapons. So let's have, let's continue to Hachinoe. Uh, looters! Fifteen of them. Run! Run from them! Okay. The villagers? Oh, okay, two more. Two more, that's fine, I guess. Okay, leave inventory. Okay, uh, dried sea fish. Oh, nice, 100 units of it. Good, good, that's very good. Oh, uh, William, do you have any other weapons besides your gun? No, you don't. Why don't you have any other weapons besides your gun? You know, take this kunai and stop being an embarrassment to Britain. Okay? Okay. All right, so uh, all right, we got a bit of a taste of the new features added into um, into Hokujo. I don't want to run too long though, so I'm gonna end the episode here. A um, couple of things I want to mention. Actually, you know what? I can fight them. I can fight them. So you know, I'm gonna let the pause game, the, pa the game pause rather. Gonna get close to them. Gonna pause. Get the game pause. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna also gonna mention that. For on gaming and nerdery, I'm really trying to figure out how exactly to work the channel. Because if you notice, my schedule's been awfully inconsistent of late. I've been forgetting I've been forgetting videos a lot more and so forth. It's partially because I have a job, you know, and having a job and so forth, it it's tiring. It's not it's not it's not even that I'm working that many hours, it's just it's tiring. It's not something I've done in a while, so. But it it, it affects the schedule and it's not necessarily because but it's not necessarily because I'm too busy. You know, I have the time, it's just I lack the energy or the will. Um, but I want to continue doing on gaming and nerdery. I, you know, I want to... And I really actually want to do more than I've been doing. I want to... You know, I want to do more than just, you know, like, uh, like four or five Third Age Total War videos a week and two Light and Darkness. I, I want to play a few more games and kind of sprinkle them in among... And sprinkle them in among my main series, be they, you know, Divide and Conquer or light and darkness and whatever, you know, so, basically, basically, you know, I'm, you know, I want, you know, what I'm looking for, I think, in many ways, the reason I'm mentioning this is that I want ideas of things I can do, I want, you know, not just, you know, not just Third Age Total War, not just, uh, not just Mountain Blade mods, you know, other mods I can play, other games I can play. You know, uh, games I already own, or games I can, you know, I haven't, I can possibly afford, and so forth. You know, I want to. You know, I don't know. You know, I don't want to. I'm not sure if I want to be a wildly successful YouTube channel necessarily. You know, um, but I do want to be successful all the same. And to that end, you know, I, I need ideas, and I think ideas will help give me some drive in in proceeding forth in this. Um, you know, in this great. It's great 
Uh, no, I need a better metaphor than that. I was gonna say this great web in the sky, but that sounds ridiculous. Especially since most of the internet's done through cables in the ground and under the sea. Anyway! <laughs> oh, no, I just sound ridiculous right now. But yeah, so... In the meantime, I really hope that you'll, you know, share, continue to share, continue to watch, like and favorite, etc. Because, I don't know, I, I like the idea of entertaining people, I really do. It's, um... It's new for, it's still, you know, even though I just, you know, I started in December, so it's, you know, this is going on for six, seven months now. You know, this is, this is still very new to me, it's still very different, and it's not... You know, I'm not sure where I'm not sure where it's going, and I want to see how far it can go. So, to that end, any help that you, my viewers, can lend, I'd be greatly appreciative of. And any ray, any any ray, any ray, yes, any ray. Anyway, I want to thank all of you for watching this episode of Gekokujo 3.0, and I will catch you next time. As I continue to play, get Kokujo 3.0! That was kind of dramatic, sir. I know. Until next time, everybody.